it is Brooke. I am back, and today we are watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer, season four, episode thirteen. Um, if you are new to the channel, hello. If you are back, nice to see you again. Uh, thanks for coming back. Um, if you are interested in watching my uncut reaction to this episode, as well as all the previous episodes in both Buffy and Angel. And getting two episode ahead early access to uncuts and edited, depending on which tier you choose. Um, you can do so by going to the description and heading over to my Patreon. Uh, over there, you get all that Buffy stuff, as, long, as well as early access to other content on the channel. And bonus content that is exclusively on Patreon. Um, and sometimes that can be like a Star Wars movie that I edited... The uncuts on Patreon, but YouTube still has not accepted the edited version, and I keep having to take stuff out. Um, so it might be up earlier over there. So sometimes there's special stuff up over there that isn't announced over here. So you never know. Um, if I do want to say thank you to my patrons, and then if you can't support financially, I totally understand. You can freely support the channel by subscribing and liking and interacting with all the videos. Um, that's just a way for YouTube to know that people are interested and they just keep like promoting it to more people like you who fit in with the audience, uh, and me. Cause I assume that most of the people are probably similar to me if they find me entertaining at all, because most people find me annoying <laughs> or at least maybe I find me annoying. We all have anxiety, whatever. Um, but we're diving into a new episode of Buffy today. Uh, in our last episode, it was Buffy's birthday, but I feel like it was Giles' episode, you know? Uh, he ran into Ethan again. His ex is back, and he's causing trouble again. <laughs> um, but Giles was feeling kind of let down because he's not as included in group decisions anymore since he doesn't see them daily. Like, he doesn't work at the school like he used to when they are in high school. Uh, and Buffy forgot to tell him about her new boyfriend, Riley, and the fact that he works with the initiative. Um, and, you know, that the professor also works with the initiative and Giles was kind of feeling down. And he ended up going drinking with Ethan. Um, and then Ethan cursed him into a demon because, you know, that's just what Ethan does. Like, <laughs> if he's here, he's putting a curse on somebody. Um, Spike and Giles had to work together to get Giles to Ethan. Um, and then Buffy eventually figured out it was Giles. They stopped Ethan, made him turn him back. Uh, and everything was hunky-dory. Though the initiative did get um ethan rain and they're taking him to a facility in nevada yeah right like the government's not going to use his magic for evil okay uh and then at the end of the episode we saw that professor marsh is like got more access than even riley has to some secret door with 314 which is a number that the demons are all really scared of right now so we know there's something evil spooky ooky going on in that room and the professor definitely knows about it. It feels like Riley maybe doesn't. Um, so I'll be interested to see if he finds out that, like, they're causing trouble with the initiative. If he would be willing to turn against them or not. Because they have to be the big bad. Just because it, I mentioned last time it's way too late to introduce, like, a new big bad, you know? So whatever they're doing is going to cause the problem, I think. Uh, and we're hearing about this problem in Angel, too. So it's going to be a big fucking problem. Uh, but I'm very excited to find out what it's going to be, so let us dive into today's episode. I implore you, Nisa, blessed goddess of chance and fortune. You know magic at the poker table qualifies as cheating. That wasn't magic, I was praying. This stupid game, all these rules just to win little plastic discs. Chips. They're called chips. They represent money. Since none of us has any money to represent money, but that's going to change once my merchandise hits the street. For boost bars. Oh, the natural no. food bar that provides a nutritional energy boost for active health conscious people. The last time we sold one? bars, yeah, it was chocolate thanks. and all the parents were Those things bananas. usually taste kind of tasteless. Wish the buff could have made it. This three-hand poker is not quite she's probably the Probably busy with her boyfriend Guess she's out with Riley. Slaying. You know how it is with a spanking new boyfriend. Okay, in an oafish kind of way, but am I he the only cannot. one with a big floating question mark over his head about this initiative thing? Well, they do no, seem to the, okay, that's the good fine. guy camp. 
I'm like okay with him being like concerned about the initiative. I am too. I thought he was gonna be jealous of her boyfriend again. I was like, I can't, guys. I cannot do this again. We're past this. <laughs> do not bring me back there. I have actually been somewhat enjoying Xander this season. Don't bring him back to where he was. I mean, they are anti-demon. Also, did Spike get away at the end of the last episode? Let's see, he did crash the car. Oh, I wonder if it's a training mission. <laughs> They're all gonna fail. Took the patrol team 42 minutes to track you, and you neutralized them in 28 seconds. Yeah, it did not very strong. I was just lucky. Awesome, Buffy. Thanks for kicking our asses. See, you're a hit. Everybody loves you. Uh, she doesn't. So then Professor Wall said that I was just as amazing as Riley had said. And later he told me that she couldn't stop talking about this move I made where I used one of the commandos as a shield to block a taser blast. It was like 12,000 volts. It took the guy almost two hours to recover. Oh, that poor <laughs> man. You've been busy fighting armies and stuff. Not to mention other distractions for more romantic. Riley just walked in. Yeah, Buffy is the girl who gets a new boyfriend and then you don't see her for a month. <laughs> well, I think you better get used to a Twinkie. That's his lunch. Oh, he is so gonna be punished. Everyone's getting spanked but me. Oh. What? Hello. Tracking mud all over your room. Um, mud. I admit, it's a bit of a fixer-upper. Uh, I mean, it's Needs spacious. A woman's touch. Care to have a crack at it? Um, 300. Uh, count it if you... Uh, there we go. Right, I'll do that. Completely against your nature, but... Uh, has it occurred to you there may be a higher purpose? <sighs> you made me lose count. What are you still doing here? Talking to myself, apparently. Well, piss off, yeah. then. This bit of business wraps up any I got with you and your slayerettes. From here on, I want nothing to do with a lot of it. Uh, I think he's gonna come back, because he's gonna be lonely. Honeymoon is over. Spike has never been the scariest bad guy, okay? New retinal scan recorded. Summers, Buffy. I just My have gosh. a bad. That's okay. Bad. Can you like yeah. not be such a yes. cockball? It's so very clean. Your visitor's pass. And I've assembled some reading material to bring you up to speed. Okay. Oh. I thought I was never going to get homework from you again. We call this the pit. And what do you call those? Tough. Took eight of us to bring those two down. They'll be under our control soon enough. Dr. Engelman! That's weird. Why do they want control? Head of our science team. We've made significant advances in reconditioning the subterrestrials, bringing them to a point where they no longer pose a threat. So and I've seen... what? I mean... On the Discovery Channel? The more advanced uh, arsenal can be complicated, but I'm certain in time you'll pick that up. Don't pick that up. What is it? About $20,000. It's a prototype for a comm cam. We have a few more things to give you. What's in there? Research area. Very restricted for security reasons. Here is your security card. Bad and your pager. Vibes. I've been thinking about getting one of these. Wow. Oh. I've been trying to find the dolls I crystal my entire life. Well, since June. Anyway. Yeah, I was like, where'd you get it? Found about magic it, it a couple my years ago, I think. But I if you wanted to try out some spells with it sometime, I wouldn't say no. Maybe tonight. I mean, if you're not doing something, you could come over and we could do something. Tonight. Is she gonna skip out on the bronze? Really nice, but tonight I. Uh, just tonight, it, it's kind of a specific crowd. You might feel out of place. Willow, this is I, I weird. Why class. can't she come? <laughs> My 
What is How it? Does the tour go? I'm not sure. She's unpredictable. She's an unnecessary risk. What kind Almost of Almost time to wake up, Adam. Oh, Take your first no. look at the world. Oh, not more zombie I people. I know you're gonna make me proud. It looks like Cyborg from Teen Titans. Let me put it in a way you'll understand. Sell bars, make money. Take Anya nice places, buy pretty things. Does make like, sense. I do like pretty things. Besides, it's getting late. Maybe we should go. Go, you can't go. Buffy hasn't gotten here yet. Let's face it, Will. She's almost an hour late. She's probably off living the life of so Riley. You were I don't think she's planning coming. To she is. They were only planning to hang out at this club for an hour. Like, they all got dressed up to go to this club for an hour if it's getting late. Like, and she's only an hour late. <laughs> so they were going to leave in an hour? What are you doing, bro? If I'm putting on makeup and doing my hair and putting on a nice outfit, I better be out, my, out of my house for at least three hours. I'm telling you, I'm not putting in that much effort for an hour. She said she was looking forward to, to spending quality time with just us. Hi, y'all. Sorry about the latitude. Late? Really? Huh. Hadn't noticed. Oh, oh that's why Willow didn't home. invite Tara no, because she no, thought it was just the regular the, group. The more, the more. Over there. Yeah, I can't blame Anya for not being around them. Anya well, seems a bit on edge. She's a She's a little demon. antsy around commando types. I, I just thought this was supposed to be, you know, us. Just the Scooby core, you know? I mean, I could have invited somebody else if I knew it was an open free-for-all. So, who did you want to invite? New friend. What? You said you wanted to invite someone. No, not... no one. So, what do you mean exactly? You've joined them? No, not exactly. It, it just means that when I patrol, I'll have a heavily armed team backing me up. I thought you liked Riley. Not with Riley. With the oh, initiative. Oh, with the initiative. Why is... There's a bunch of stuff about them. I'm going to say, last episode, Buffy said to Giles, I'm dating Riley, not the initiative. It seems like she does conflate the two in her brain. Like, any criticism of the initiative becomes criticism of Riley, and that is a problem. We still don't know. Plus, don't forget that 314 thing that Ethan told Giles about. Well, a man that worships chaos and tries to kill you is a man you can trust. His mother wants us. Well... I know. Yeah, she's also going to slay on their time and not her own time now. So it's the big emergency. This is your objective. We'll brief you on its defenses. When threatened, bone skewers jut from the creature's forearms during Sick. battle. It's Ooh, imperative cool. when ensnaring it not to damage its arms. Question. Buffy? Why exactly can't we damage this poke thing's arms? We wish to study the physiology of every subterrestrial's mm. natural No, they're going to put the arms on the that zombie. They're not sentient, just destructive, I believe. They do have keen eyesight, however. Yeah, that Might doesn't track with this. every other demon we've met. Well, uh, Agent Finn, deploy the teams. Okay, listen up. We'll be going in a four-squad setup. Team leaders, Gates, Taggart, and Stavros. Alpha team, you're with me. Willow. Funny thing happened with my prior social engagement. It pretty sucks. much ended when a friend of mine went off to do something with another crowd she hangs out with. I like their friendship slash kind of romantic -y music. She's just not used to it. But what if you Maybe do because the you wrong barely thing? ever opened your mouth in a classroom. Questions. But I know she likes you. In fact, she liked you before I did. Really? What do you mean she liked me before you did? Uh, you didn't like, like did me? Did not like me? Uh-oh. Uh Foot in mouth. It just isn't right. Hello, Hostile 17. Bro, you too. Stand in flank and oh, go. Oh, no. He's getting groceries. Leave him alone. He got, like, egos. <laughs> Lurk control and alpha team. We've tagged Hostile 17 with a tracer and we're in pursuit. <laughs> What's up, bitch? <laughs> what is happening? Are we getting a montage? Is Spike okay? I can't believe I care about Spike now, but he's funny. The 
music is also a choice here. So, what do you want to do now? Oh, I think we know what they did. Uh, what the fuck? Ew, does she have cameras in all their rooms? Xander, stop. You're in a pyramid scheme. This isn't like an MLM. Close the door. Um. Weren't your words, I never want to see how you How is again. this our concern, seeing that you've expressed a desire to have nothing more to do with us? Look. They the shot me. shot me. In the back. Remind uh. me. Why should I help you? Aw, Oh, because I helped help. you. When you turn into that fioral demon, I helped you, didn't I? And that was out of the, um, evilness of your heart? Okay, I'll take $300 to get that bullet out. You right bastard. Oh, come on. Circle the wagons. Tend to the wounded here. No time for layabouts. You were gone. Or a demon. I never know what to expect. The pager's gonna get real annoying. Real fast. <laughs> Your robot bird sounds hungry. <laughs> it's just a reminder to take my vitamins. Quite the regimental soldier. I am how they train me. They? Who they? You know, the government. That doesn't work for I me. I don't understand. Aren't you curious about all the science and research stuff they're doing? Yeah, the government has never lied about why they're doing something Which 314? Ever. You're really not one for asking questions, are you? That's weird. I'll leave that to you. Lose your way, Agent? No, ma'am. I've instructed Beta Team to suspend really pursuit, pursuit of Hostel 17 until your arrival. She's weird. I think we've got a situation. We move to the contingency scenario? Right away. Bad. Bad vibe. She could have been a powerful ally. I know. It's better. What? No, it's not. Ow! Watch it. That hurts. It doesn't appear to be a bullet. All right, Anya, there's a bottle of cognac in the uh, cupboard next to the sink. Will you get it for me? What? You're going to get snarked now? It's not for me, you prat. If I'm going to operate on you, I need you anesthetized. I won't. It's like a homing beacon. And if commando guys are reading the signal, they're coming home. Well, we need to buy some time. It's in deep, and I'm no surgeon. Oh, hi. Hey. Out all night, huh? You I too? she got up early and yeah. made her bed. I gotta go. I'll see ya. What are you gonna do, Buffy? Capture Spike at Giles' house. That's your help I need, actually. Really? What do you want me to do? It's a small job. How is she gonna use magic to distract Probably them? a waste of a slayer's abilities. Class three. It's a low-level threat, minimal aggression, meager defenses. They barely show up on the scanner and occasionally turn out to be raccoons. I don't want to put you in any unnecessary danger. Oh, that's okay. Danger's my birthright. Sorry. There's, um, there's still some stuff about all this that I'm not clear. If Faith is in a coma, this is off thought. If Faith is in a coma and Buffy dies, but Buffy already died, which made Kendra the thing, and then Kendra died, which made Faith the thing, Faith needs to die for the next Slayer to come up, right? So if Buffy dies, there's not another Slayer because hers already passed. So then if Buffy died, would it our only Slayer be Faith in a coma? Because that seems bad. Buffy no dying. <laughs> no dying in the well, show named back, after you. Talk. That's bad. That's not nice. If she succeeds, her spell will ionize the atmosphere around us, thereby disrupting the tracer signal. Buys his time. Oh. Did it work? It seemed to work, but then destroy all his light bulbs. Adventure, yes. Okay, then we change into civvies, then move out. Maybe something will turn up.
Well, Willow was right. <laughs> He's brought along a friend. They seem. Those are the guys. Uh, we can go up that hole, right? Buffy, break their dumbass camera! Oh, she thinks Buffy. There's no way Buffy's dead. Talk to me, Forrest. Yeah, you Signal's look way more normal now. He's still holding this Estimate thing. within a two block radius. Signal's cleared up. There. Let's go. Um, go. Oh. 20. 15. Where? Xander. To the left. 10 meters. 5. Anyone? I got nothing. This doesn't make sense. Flushed. The tracer's been flushed. Yeah, she took it off. Good for Buffy. <laughs> Okay, so she set you up to die? She's up to some shit. Regret to report Hostel 17 still at large. I I I don't know what to say. She's gonna tell her it's, it's, it's Buffy, about Buffy died and she's gonna be fine. Buffy? Two of our hostels broke free and escaped into the tunnels. She's dead, Riley. She's literally not dead. What? I did everything He's I could. He's gonna like go back and Buffy's gonna be like, backup I'm, team. She I'm kept fine. insisting she didn't need any team. It's I didn't right there on the understand camera. it first. But she had something. I don't She's know. Maybe on the camera. Maybe I could have right stopped now. her. Wasn't a raccoon. Turns out it was me trapped in the sewers with a faulty weapon and two of your pet demons. Ha! <laughs> well. Which side we choosing, Riley? Because one of them just tried to kill an innocent person. He's out. Agent Finn, I order you to stop. Agent Finn. No. Riley. Put me back the way I was. Sure. You suck. Just before. explain to the nice scientist guys that you really miss killing and torturing innocent people. No. That they're not gonna be any longer. They threatened to kill me. It's not safe for any of us. Or is this her son? Is someone her son? All right. Too long to let some little bitch threaten this project. Okay, Professor Marsh. She need to chill what do you out. Mean? You'll no. understand. I don't think so. I think that is it's for the greater fun. good. You'll see that. Look, if you asked me the no. first episode if I first thought she was going to be the big bad, I would have said no. Remove the complication. Oh. You got me there. And when she least expects it. Ah! And? Mommy. Okay, well, it is her son. Um. Why is she so obsessed with Riley? Is he, like, also her son? Or he reminds her of Adam before he became a zombie mutant monster thing? I don't know. I think she's dead. <laughs> Which is. Yeah, I don't really know what she was gonna do. Like. I'm dying at her being like, it's so tragic. She's dead. And it's just Buffy being like, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> I was like, you should probably have confirmed that before you uh, started your little lying scheme. Um, you didn't even see a body. <laughs> uh, but, and she didn't hear the sounds of them still fighting. Like, what a fucking nut. Uh... I think Dr. Walsh maybe overplayed her hand a little too soon there. Uh, she probably could have got more use out of Buffy before turning on her like that. But it did feel like a weird, like, jealousy thing. But then I also think when they did the training where, like, they were tracking her and how long she stayed away and she was able to take them down so quickly, she realized, like, oh, this is someone who actually can put a stop to what I'm doing. So I need her gone. Um, versus the guys obviously saw it as like, oh, this is an asset to our team. She saw it as a threat to whatever they're actually doing, which was whatever this Adam project is. I don't know if Adam is like a soldier who got hurt and then they were doing this to him. Like if it's similar to the episode in season two, I think where like it was two or three where that guy was like a zombie and his brother like brought him back to life. Uh, the Adam reminds me of that, but obviously with a bunch of different demon parts instead of human parts. Um, 
I feel bad for him. Like, I, I assume we're gonna have to fight and kill him, but I do feel bad that his body was, like, desecrated like that. That's really sad. Um, but yeah, it seems like maybe they're telling the commandos and stuff that, oh, we're doing this to help people, but it's really... I wonder if they're to planning to use parts of the demons on, like, soldiers to make them more effective. Um, which is crazy, but not something I would put past the government at all. Um, I'm happy, like, that Willow and Tara, I remember her name now, um, got to hang out again. They play, like, kind of romantic -y music, and so I've decided my hopes are up. And if they get crushed, well... That's gonna suck. <laughs> but, um, I've been liking that. I'm not still entirely sure why she doesn't want Buffy to know about her. I think maybe she just wants something for herself, honestly. I think that's okay sometimes to want, like, a friend that's just your friend and not... I think that's okay. Um, but I also feel like Tara could be beneficial to the group to have two magic users. Like, that'll make them be able to do a lot... Well, technically three with Giles, so they could do a lot stronger spells. Um... And I don't know if technically Anya can do magic. I'm not sure. But it does seem like Spike is joining the group again. I His goal of being unneutered, I do not see that happening. Uh, like, sorry, man. I can't see them, even if they beat the initiative, agreeing to take that chip out of your brain. Uh, because we know he's a pretty violent person. Um... Might as well make it so he can't hurt anyone. Because it does, like, it makes him fun to have in the show. Because you don't have to worry about him snapping and, like, killing one of your favorite characters. You're like, oh, now Spike's just funny. <laughs> um, and I don't mind that because, like, I think he adds to the group. I think I've mentioned before. I think he really kind of fills out that, like, snarky, sarcastic role. Um, and I like his interactions with Giles. I like his interactions with Willow and Xander. His interactions with Buffy. I think he's a good addition. Uh, and I can't see him staying if he goes back to being, like, a human, murdery, crazy person. So, um, I like him with the chip in his brain. <laughs> uh, other than that, I'm excited. Buffy knows that, uh, Walsh is a shithead, and now we're going against the initiative, I bet. And I am very excited to see the team do that. Seems like Riley's leaving as well, being like, oh, you just, like, tried to fucking gaslight his ass. Uh, <laughs> and he was like, fuck you. Um, I'm probably we're going to see some fallout from that. And I'm sure it was hard for him, right? Like, can you imagine if, like, you dedicated your life to something and it turned out to be a complete fabrication? Um, and then they lie, tried to murder your new girlfriend and, like, lied to you about it. Uh, so maybe Riley will be joining our team and we can teach him that not all demons and vampires are bad. Um, and he can realize that some of them have souls. But I don't know. I'm excited to see what happens next. If you would like to watch the next episode with me early, it's up over on Patreon. And if not, I will see you next time.